yes. Exodus or myself. It seems as though you are a fraud and it's a scam. Yes, sir. You are a fraud and a scam. I, this is what kills me. If I ever, if I even begin to call somebody a fraud and a scam, even before I can even try to begin, I want to make sure that I have some kind of foundation and I'm not, I'm not just talking for the hell of it. When you try to make a claim that Angel Snuff Number 7 and this plan this idea, Operation Exodus Mississippi Campaign, is fraud and a scam. What what are you basing that on? I, I'm asking you a question. See, some people just say stuff like that just to hate on you. Because they're jealous, like I told you. Like we talked about before in our conversation. When you bring the Mississippi campaign to these people, it reminds them of their failure. It reminds them of their incompetence. So they got to try to find a reason why you ain't no good, which is going to be very difficult because you have had thousands of years, hundreds of years, it's thousands of your of people with your mentality and y'all can't do nothing. You can't get nothing together. You're incompetent. You're a bunch of you're a big fat phony and you're big fat failures. That's not my fault. And so you want Angel Snub Nub 7 to be a fraud and a scam which many of these people on social media we already know many of them are frauds and scams took thousands and millions of your dollars and what do you get? You have given Minister Louis Farrakhan over 40 years probably over a billion some dollars what do you have? You give the, past, the Christian pastors in these churches millions and millions of dollars every year what do you, what do you get? You give these comedics you give these people that's, that's selling Sea moss and black soap or whatever. What are you getting? What are you really getting? Well, you can take a bath with black soap, I guess. I, I guess sea moss is good for your health, I guess. At least you get something for your dollar. But these people are not doing it for what is in the best interest of black people. They're doing it for their own pocket. So they can drive a Rolls Royce, live in a big mansion, so they can live like white folks. So they can live like white people. Like Europeans. The big house, swimming pools. The tennis courts, basketball courts in the yard. The big goldfish pond. They want to live like Minister Louis Farrakhan live in the white neighborhood. So he can show so he can show off. I got money like the white folks. That's what it's all about. Revolutionaries don't have money like that. Revolu re revolutionaries are poor, struggling. The police might be chasing them. Revolutionaries. Louis Farrakhan and, and Tariq Nasheed, Black Authority, all these people, 
are not revolution. They're not liberators. They just have a big mouth selling you dreams. They're not real about things. And because you've never had freedom before, that's good enough for you. Because you don't know what you're missing anyway. And you really don't want the responsibility. And you really don't want the responsibility. You want to be, you want to stay in a position so you can keep saying, well, the white people do this. And if it wasn't, if it wasn't for the white man, Cointel Pro, the CIA, the FBI, you are agent. You want to be in a position so you can keep talking your garbage. You don't want the responsibility for yourself. Because it's not, it's not easy being free. Freedom is not free. They tell you that all the time. You're nothing but the white man's children. And you got to go to you have to go and ask him. You like being in a position. Mr. White Man, can can we do this? Can, can I go over here? Can, will you sign my passport? Do I do I have to do I have to wear a mask, Mr. White Man? You like to be in the position of a child. Obey laws. Obey rules that somebody else will make. Nobody obey your rules. Nobody obey your laws. Nobody drink your water that come through your pipes. Your internet. Your nuclear power. That's what the Mississippi campaign is about. How the hell are you going to get angry about the Mississippi campaign when it's about trying to put some power in your hands? Y'all crazy as hell. Black Power Church. That's all it is. Spooky ass. And y'all spooky as hell. Spirituality means you spooky. Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> What's up, Shaggy? What's up, MD 2020? <laughs> That's all it is. Islamic Church. Black power, black power Jesus. <laughs> That's all it is. Matter of fact, some of them turn Jesus black. Jesus really is a is a black man. Santa Claus really is a black man. That's all they did. <laughs> How the hell are you gonna get angry at the Mississippi campaign? You're angry at the Mississippi campaign because it's real. And you don't want the responsibility. And the Mississippi campaign reminds you of your failure. And you don't want the Mississippi campaign to even begin to be born. You want it to be aborted because it will make you look bad. But at the same time, I thought we all wanted the same thing. I thought we all wanted our people to be liberated, free, and all that kind of thing. No, you don't. You just want Soul brothers and sisters to go from one plantation to another. Angel Snub No. 7 is a fraud and a scam. How? How many times did I ask you? We've been on the air for over an hour, hour and a half or whatever. How many times did I ask you for money? Ask you for anything? Matter of fact, I've been on, I've been on YouTube since 2007. And the first time I asked for, for money was when I got sick and had surgery. And asked people, to, could you help me out? And the only reason why I did that because people was asking me anyway. So I decided just to make it public. And I would have to ask people, keep doing it over and over again. I just make a video, I just put it in the description box if you want to help Angel Snuff Number 7 while I'm sick. And I'm still sick, ain't nothing really changed. I'm just doing pretty well right now. But anyway, for those who want to help Angel Snub Number 7, you can do it. Also, Angel Snub Number 7, prior to me being sick, I gave my audience money. I did a little raffle. Even that faceless troll, Alquan, got $50. And I sent checks out to people. And those checks cash. I gave money away. How the hell am I a fraud? Matter of fact, 
it's a priority to show you when you donate or give, I'm going to give you your money back or I'm going to show you with receipts. This is what I use our money for. Not only your money, my money goes on the project too. How the hell is Angel Snub No. 7 a fraud and a scam? I'm not asking to control nothing. We control this. And there's a system of checks and balances like how the United States government is set up so nobody has ultimate power, ultimate control. We smart here at the Reality's Temple on Earth. One individual don't control a damn thing. And you can get fired. You ain't doing things right? Yeah, I like you, Angel. You a cool brother, but you're not getting the job done. Guess what, Angel Snub Number 7? You fired. Yeah, but I'm the one that they, they, they gave y'all all this stuff. I brought, I brought the Mississippi County. You are fired. There are businesses. The people that actually created the business. You get a board of directors or whatever. You created the business. And the board of directors say you're fired. Because you're not, you're not, you're not making profit. You're not getting the job done. So what? You can love Louis Farrakhan all you want. You can love Tariq Nasheed all you want. That's cool. But the problem is, are they? What kind of job are they doing? Or should they be fired, terminated? And that's what it's about. They're not getting the job done. We talked about this earlier, a concern. Another question that Brother Denzel brought us was, which is better, Operation X in the Mississippi campaign or a business? Of course, a business does not allow you to control resources. The Mississippi campaign is trying to put you in a position where you can make laws. Laws control business. Because whoever is the lawmaker can, can make your business successful or put you out of business because they can make laws to hinder your business. The Mississippi campaign is about trying to put you in a position so that you can control, control some water, some land, put you in a position where you can control electricity, some internet, so that you can make laws. So you can destroy the laws that's a, that's a detriment to you. Having a business does not do that. Also, the Mississippi campaign puts you in a position so your business can thrive. You don't have to pay a, pay a whole lot of taxes. You can get government support for your business. That's, that's the beauty of the Mississippi campaign. Mississippi campaign is good for business and the Mississippi campaign is a business because the government of Mississippi will get involved in the business especially of something like growing food producing organic food the people need to eat so we're going to make sure our citizen, citizens of Mississippi if, if we if we were in Control of Mississippi, I guarantee you